Hello and welcome to the lecture on bore radius derivation. So we are deriving the bore radius uh, for hydrogen atom here. So and please keep in mind that uh, this bore radius is only applicable for hydrogen atom or hydrogen like atoms means uh, the atoms which has single electron. So for example, the helium, if it is singly ionized, then it will have single electron. So here, uh, let us consider the hydrogen atom, which has one electron as well as uh, one proton. So there is centripetal uh, force uh, uh, whose uh, value is MeV square by R. The electron is stable in this orbit because it is balanced by these two forces. As these two forces are equal, it is balanced. So we can equate these two equation here. The electrostatic force is Z e square by 4 pi epsilon naught r square. So here why we are uh, means why we are doing Z e square because it should be applicable for singly ionized helium. So for example, helium for helium plus there will be one electron and two protons. So there uh, it will be. Uh, Z value will be 2. So it is Z e into e that will give us Z e square. So that's why, uh, that's how we calculate this uh, uh, electrostatic force. So here the nucleus may have Z e and it is e, Z e square. When we equate this and uh, we know that angular momentum is quantized, that is m g v r is equal to n h by 2 pi. So here V square will be uh, N square H square by 4 pi square uh, M E square R square. So we are calculating V square here like this. Uh, and, and then when we substitute the 2 in 1 here, uh, like this, this V square here, we are going to get uh, M E by R N square H square by 4 pi square M E square R square, which will be equal to uh, this electrostatic force. So from this, we are going to calculate the value of R. So here uh, we can uh, cancel 4, 4 and 4 and 5. And here square will be cancelled. R square will be cancelled on both sides. So we end up getting R, which is N square H square, uh, epsilon naught, uh, ZE square, E and 5 And, uh, and here, these are all constants. H is a constant, epsilon naught is a constant, Z is also fixed, E charge of electron is constant, mass of electron is constant, pi is constant. So we are representing with the single constant E naught times N square. So here N is variable, that is orbit number. Now this uh, bore radius it is applicable for hydrogen or hydrogen-like atoms. So that can be hydrogen or helium plus. This is singly ionized helium. This is has two protons and one electron. Similarly, doubly ionized lithium. So it has uh, one electron and three protons and so on. So this is how we calculate bore radius. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to get uh, more videos.